Hello everyone, I am William from Mighty Velo. Today I'm going to show you the installation of the Birdie G3 fenders. The Birdie fenders come in two versions. One version is for the new classic model and the other version is for the G3 models. They are designed specially for each model and cannot be interchangeable. So the Birdie fenders come in two versions. One of the Birdie new classic and one is the Birdie G3 models. So the main difference is the length of the stay and the design of the stay are different. So now I will measure the weight of the Birdie 3 fenders. So and the weight for the G3 fenders, the total weight is 329 gram. So this is the new classic fenders. The total weight is 362 gram. So the box will include the spacer, the screw, the nuts and the washer. And then the rear stay, the front stay, the front fender and the rear fenders. So for today's installation, I'll be using the Vera tools, number 3, 4, 5 and a wrench 8mm. So now I'll show you the pre-install of the fenders. So firstly, to stay, take out the nut, washer, and the screw. Okay. So this stay. Washer. And then the lock nut. Okay, we use the uh, M M ring. Uh, number three. So now we'll be putting the screw on the fenders. So during the installation, the two spacer will be on your right, and one spacer will be on your left. Okay, before the installation, please remove your rear wheel. Now I will position the fenders onto the frame. Now I will tighten the screw in. So now I will start to install. Okay, for the installation, we will use the bottom screw. So, place the spacer in. So, for the right side installation, I'll be using one spacer, one screw, and one Vera hex number three. So now, okay, put a spacer in between the fan, the stay, and the screw in. Screw it tight, and we are done. So now we will install back the wheels. Now we install back the screw. Wheel. Okay, after you completed the installation, check the wheel is not rugging against the fenders and you are done. After we complete the rear fenders, now we begin with the front fenders. So this is all the setup that you need. So you need a 8 man wrench, wrench. So I will start the installation. Okay. Oh. Over. Stay. Washer. And then off. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, this is how you install the stay to the fenders. For the installation of the fenders, you need two set of screw and bolt, and you need a eight mm wrench. So the screw will go through this hole. And okay, now we secure it with the bolt. Okay, do the same thing for the other side. Okay, tighten the wrench. Okay, we'll put in the washer first on both sides. Okay, now followed by the fender stay. So now we will slide the stay in. So for the last part of the installation, we need a spacer and a screw to secure the fenders to the fork. So for the installation, you need the Wara tools number 3. After you completed the front fenders, now you can attach the front view back. So if you find that the position of the fenders is too high, you can readjust by pressing down the stay. Further secure the position of the stay, tighten it with a wrench. So likewise, the other side you tighten the bolt with a wrench. To complete the installation, install the end cap to the end of the stay. So after the completion of the fenders, check that the tire is not rubbing against the fenders. So this is how you install the fenders on the G3 frame. I hope you enjoyed the video and I see you in the next video.